like everything about fighting from not just the fight but everything that leads up to the fight the process of it I think I just enjoy being in the, in those moments I enjoy being in the wrestling room I enjoy sparring I enjoy just doing stand-up hitting pads still carry the Aloha spirit with me and I have so much pride just for my island and just for where I come from. Um, so just being able to represent Eva Beach, the city that I'm from and all the people um, and my friends and family from the city is just um, an amazing feeling, you know, to just be able to, to rep uh, Eva Beach. And now she should be looking for double underhooks to hold her position. She may be under six to ten. Submission win and immediately brought. Mission due to a rear naked choke. Kylan Kara. I belong here and and I want to make a statement. Photo opportunities and uh, I think that's why she is so. Angry. My mind has always been my strongest asset, and you know everything else. If you got some heart and a good mindset, it'll all come. Tough Hawaiian, you know. I know they bring it. Good shot. Yeah, there's a lot. Nice shot. Nice shot by Ostovich. Now watch the armbar here. Trying to transition that armbar though. Again, armbar. Yep, she's getting her angle here. Oh, she's really looking oh, for she's it. in trouble. This is deep. She has it. Yep, she's got it. She's got it. Got it. But why not a Hawaii? Rachel! Rachel Ostrovich's family runs this promotion, and her dad, Rob Ostrovich, has been involved in mixed martial arts for a long time. Denied. Every time we see her, Alima Lay McFarland is more and more impressive. Beautiful job, there it is. Lay McFarland remains the Bellator Women's Flyweight Champion. Alima Lay McFarland showing that she is evolving not only as an MMA fighter, but as the champion of Bellator, trying to finish this fight in the final round, unable to get that finish, but a decisive unanimous decision victory for the champ, Alima Leigh McFarlane. And so I'm right up there with the Kia'i or the protectors, and so this walkout was dedicated to all the Kia'i. They're still up there on the Mana, um, and I just wanted to I wanted to use all women, all wahine, because you know I I have my scholarship for young native girls, um, and it's just very important to me to um, represent the mana wahine. Uh, and so I, I had these women come in. A lot of them were my um, family members. A lot of them were kumu. Uh, and they were also um, mauna. We say mauna wahine. Like they were the women of the mauna. And so um, that was insane. Like. Looking at a martial artist of the highest order. Come and follow you.
Yes, you could be setting up the twister here, Steve. Oh, oh the twister! Wow, what a finish! That's an unbelievable... For me, this has always been one of my goals for a really long time. I'm training to be better than I was yesterday. Prove everyone once again that I'm the best in the world. I want to prove that women, they have the same capabilities as, as men do. If anything, you know, we do it better. I've been training in mixed martial arts. I come from a mixed martial arts family. That is in my family's roots. My parents are both martial artists and my entire family has grown up training in martial arts. We really try and do everything together. And it's kind of just the way that we were raised up. We're very close. We genuinely love to hang out with each other. She's trying to pound her out. She's got 34 seconds. Oh, it's underneath. Yeah, the Is that it? Is this it? 18 seconds to go. Is she's going to make it. Oh, it's underneath. Oh, she got the tap. Good night. Phenomenal young athlete. Out of the white, she's still unstoppable.